Welcome once again to Talking Over Old Times, part of the Heritage Builders program of the Olympia Tumwater Foundation. I'm Don Trosper, Public History Manager, and a longtime fan of our rich local history. If you've been watching these short features, you may have heard me mention that Tumwater is the first permanent American community in what is now the state of Washington. But you may have also heard that the town of Stillicum is the first American town. Don't worry, our two cities get along just fine. You see, Stillicum was the first incorporated town in the state. Tumwater was founded in 1845, but wasn't officially incorporated until 1869. The Articles of Incorporation were passed by the Territorial House of Representatives on November 22nd of that year and signed by Governor Flanders on December 2nd. The first election was held that very same day with five trustees. They were Hugh Connell, Clanric Crosby Sr., Anton Kuhn, S.W. Cooper, and Nelson Barnes. Samuel Ward was appointed as clerk and George Biles was appointed as marshal. There was no official title of mayor at that point, but a president of the council was chosen by the members. They chose Nelson Barnes. We'll talk more about him in a moment. I had a fun time reading through the first handwritten minutes of that council. It was done with fountain pen and ink, and the penmanship could be challenging at times. I found, for example, that at their first meeting, a speed limit was placed on bridges, which was no faster than a walk for horses. The penalty for speeding would be a fine of $5 and a later ordinance specified that $2 of that fine was to be paid to the informer. Another early ordinance required the slaughterhouse north of the Lincoln Mill to prevent their hogs from running at large. Another hog ordinance was passed not long afterwards, allowing the hogs to be arrested if found running at large within town limits. Our first mayor, or president of the board, Nelson Barnes, was called Father Barnes by many people, due mostly to his New England, Vermont, Puritan background. He was among the community business leaders who helped build the first Tumwater Methodist Church on Tumwater Hill and doing so debt free. He was viewed by some as a rather eccentric personality, but was known for his cheerful greetings. Barnes Lake in Tumwater is named for him since that was also on his original property. He and his wife Anna had a daughter Lucy who married a well-known area pioneer A.B. Rappison. Nelson's son, George, became a real leader in Olympia, running one of the early general stores, and then forming one of that town's first banks, which was the first brick structure in town. Nelson Barnes passed away at the age of 88. We honor him today as our first mayor on Talking Over Old Times. 